Jake the Snake Roberts uh, throwing shade and criticizing MJF over the pipe bomb. He said it made him sick. WWE Hall of Famer Jake the Snake Roberts, also with uh, AEW, says, For me, it makes me sick. It really did. Um, and he basically you know, goes on to say things like, I would love to see uh, what the locker room is like, he continued. The bomb that he dropped is going to have repercussions with people, and there's going to be problems. And, you know, he says, I couldn't believe he no-showed a signing, man. Roberts uh, said, it's a big-time thing with Tony Khan's. He loves these signings, and he wants these guys there. And for me, you don't mess with stuff like that. Uh, this is your fans, your fan base. These people paid to get in, and you no-showed that? Now, that's something Jake the Snake Roberts said, and uh, we have Jake the Snake Roberts uh, with us right now. Hello, Jake. All right, Jake the Snake Roberts. It's good. To, man, it's it's great to have you back on the show. Uh, it, you know, it's been, uh, I want to say, uh, it's been about, you know, probably, to be honest, it's been about a year since we last had, you know, Jake the Snake Roberts on the show. I don't know if we have him now, but... Uh, uh, Jake, I don't know if your phone's muted or something's wrong on your end or whatever, but uh, Jake the Snake Roberts is, I do see him on the call. Jake? Hi, Joe. It's There you go. Uh, it's great to be here. I I meant every, every single word of what I said there. Well, I'm glad you did, but, uh, you know, Jake, I got a clip of you. Yep. I'm going to play a clip of you right now because uh, I've... It's interesting you say that, but I, I have some an interesting interview that you did uh, a few years back. You know, you're you're criticizing MJF for not showing up. You know. Okay. So uh, I'm gonna play that clip right now for you guys, uh, uh, Jake. If you'll just uh, kind of bear with me here while we uh, play the clip, uh, be really appreciated. This is you, Jake, from uh, just a few years ago. Listen and to this. basically, that's where Pat Patterson was upset. So I, because I didn't go, and that's why Vince McMahon suspended me. And, you know, he fined me. I wasn't suspended, but I was, I was basically fined. Because I said, man, if I'm not wrestling Greg the Hammer Valentine tonight, I'm, I'm not showing up. So I went, I went and did crack off some hooker's cunt, and I made love to her asshole, and, and I said, fuck it. I'm not going to show up, you know, and uh, obviously Vince McMahon wasn't happy about that, and I'm my own, I fuck my own family's friends, uh, and I, listen, they were, I, it was so bad at that time that I would skip a wrestling match if I had too much money on me, I would skip a wrestling match to fuck a hooker. Jesus Christ, Jake. Uh, what do you, uh, Jake? Oh, he hung up. Jake, did you, why'd you hang, Jake, did you, hello? I was going to say, is that not you from two years, well, whatever. You know, there's countless, you know, examples of that though, Jake, of you doing that and saying that, missing matches and being under, you know, I don't know. I just, I just find it a little hypocritical, but hey, the fact of the matter is it, Jake Roberts says that MJF's pipe bomb made him sick. Um, and the company is sick, obviously, with MJF at this point. Crazy stuff, man. Um, clarification on Stephanie McMahon's reason as to step down is coming out, whatever that means. Um, we really don't know. Um, it's clarified um, that the Business Insider report regarding the exit on another employee, WWE head of global partnership, blah, 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 um, <clears throat> that she was let go by McMahon, who didn't believe she was the right fit for the position. It was noted that this was looked upon as not a great hire by Stephanie McMahon. So not a good hire by Stephanie McMahon. Some of those things adding up. Um, you know, the the decision was hers. That's what they're basically saying. A lot of people in WWE it's 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 are, are making more of this than I think we really understand. Her leaving was 100% her choice, says Meltzer. Um, this is one of those times where I think Meltzer's right and he actually is getting some intel because WWE doesn't want like made up news stories to run wild. So they're like, all right, you know, this is one of those times where I think they actually give Meltzer something when they usually crap on him and don't. Um, she had been talking about this with close friends and Triple H had his heart issues. They said key people in the company once 
she was gone, did want to bury her on her way out. That shocked a lot of people, including me, Meltzer said, and those close to her when I noted that someone very high in the food chain about the the burials uh, starting. They, they told me that if they did that publicly, it would be career suicide, only to find out that they had already started the burial, um, and that was going from the top. So it does. It does seem like they're looking to disparage. You know, they they disparaged Triple H on his leaving NXT in many ways. They disparaged uh, disparaged uh, Shane McMahon. They've disparaged now Stephanie McMahon. It's kind of crazy how the company has done this. But I mean, it's, this is obvious. We have seen this for whatever reason. The idea is that you know the the McMahon children have failed, and if you don't, maybe that's not. I don't know if that's true. But that is the that's what we're seeing is that the McMahon kids failed. Shane McMahon was let go by his own father and or at least told to go home by these people. So Shane McMahon has failed as far as they're concerned in many different ways. He was only he was brought in and only viable as a as a character at this point. Shane McMahon is a, a viable on screen liked by the fans character. But as far as in the back, they consider him a failure, Look, it seems. And as far as Stephanie McMahon, she's considered to be, it seems like, a bit of a failure. Less harsh, more more like, nah, it didn't really work out, you know? Uh, you know, which is something she would do to people, so it's kind of funny. But I don't think Stephanie McMahon is a failure. I think Stephanie McMahon is a really powerful, great representation of the company. And I, I think she goes overboard with her weird you know, SJW like, you know, just sucking of people's asses and whatever she does. But I obviously think that she's pretty good at being what she did. So I, I don't know. I just, it's interesting. So, but they're portraying it to me as Shane McMahon, failure. Stephanie McMahon, failure. Triple H, failure. You got beat by AEW. AE, and listen, no matter what you think, AEW is the reason NXT failed. If AEW doesn't come along, NXT is still black and gold, and we're still running those epic pay-per-views and those great moments. Do you know what I mean? If there's no AEW, Kenny Omega is showing up in NXT probably next week. And a year ago, the Young Bucks are showing up. You know, I'm seriously. That's what's going down. But that's not going to happen now. Because AEW put NXT out of business, effectively putting Triple H sort of a bit out of business in many ways. So, you know, Triple H has been neutered by WWE and AEW. But I'll never forget what Triple H did. I'll never forget the five years to six, five or six years that Triple H took a, took a, I mean, dude, from the music to the characters, to the decisions, to the stories, to the hirings. NXT was one of NXT was the best wrestling promotion in my opinion for about 3 4 or 5 years in the to me in the world and maybe some people love New Japan more maybe some people love WWE more still I don't know but to me NXT was the best brand of wrestling in the world for about 3 to 5 years arguably you know whatever that is that is incredible, and that can never be taken away from Triple H and from NXT and Dusty Rhodes and you, everybody who worked in NXT. You name the people that worked there. So you can't take that away from them. Anyway, I'm Joe Cronin. If you guys have something to say, leave it in the comments down below. If you want to try the Super Thanks feature, that'd be cool, and you can drop a couple dollars on this and uh, help me fund my show and my videos. I will make sure to shout you out. And speaking of shouting you out, uh, here's the $25 producers on Patreon for this month, patreon.com slash Joe Cronin Show, where you can get stuff that we just can't do on YouTube anymore. Go check it out now, patreon.com slash Joe Cronin Show, and I'll, I'll look for your comments down below. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.